Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Lucas and welcome back to, uh, yet again, another PSGL F1 League Racing video here on F1 2021. This time for the Austrian GP. Uh, as you can see, we've got, you know, some of the usual suspects on the grid. Jumping straight into it now, uh, and to the first run of Q1 on the soft tyres, keeping ourselves a nice set of mediums for the Q2 segment if we get that far. Going through turn one, getting a bit of obviously on the exit DRS open all the way down to turn two, which is technically this thing. And then turn three, heavy on the brakes, breaking just past 100 metres. Third gear, getting the winding down the lock, a bit of obviously on the exit, but you know, control wheel spin. Um, and yeah, DRS open again, heading down towards turn four. Uh, Red Bull getting out of the way, heavy braking into T4, using a bit of curve on the inside. Fifth gear on the exit. Up to 6th, up to 7th, bringing the car all the way out to the 50 metre board, getting the car tucked in quite well using the kerb on the inside. Double left hander, cut under steering out a little bit, but it's been a clean lap so far, it's not been anything good not so been sensational. sensational but oh, well, as I just say there as well, in the, um, in the actual lap, sending that a little bit into the last sector, not massively oversent, but just making sure we get a valid lap on the board. Up. Nothing more. Yep, there we go, so fastest lap at the time of setting it, and that was, um, yeah, more than good enough to get us through into Q2, very safe, very, um, yeah, what? lap wasn't amazing, but it was, I'm know, shocked all that's you need P5, is, um, to all you needed it for it to be good shocked. enough, so, um, yeah, um, now, heading on towards, um, well, heading into Q2 now, we are here on the mediums, now, I was actually, in some way, quite happy to go out in Q2, um, I could have easily gotten to Q3 if I wanted to go on this, if I went on the softs, no problem. But I wanted to either get in on Q, into Q3 on the, the me on, on mediums or have brand new softs, uh, a bit, sorry, brand new softs, brand new mediums available to us, um, in the race. So, um, yeah, to be honest, I wasn't massively too concerned about where we started because it's a track where you can overtake a lot, people fight a lot, triple DRS zone, so it's definitely, um, yeah, a track where you can get racy, so I was quite happy if it came to it to fall outside the top 10 and start in, you know, ideally P11 um, on purpose, so um, yeah, definitely something we wouldn't be objective, objective, beep, object, I don't know, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, objected to I think it is, sending it now into the final two corners, uh, one more corner to go no negotiate, uh, there you go, up to the limit, and meep meep, <laughs> meep meep, and there you go, uh, a point two nine seven on the mediums, which um, I believe by the end of the session was good enough. <laughs> Give me, a, I don't want to be Peter, I want to be P eleven. Oh, <laughs> P eleven, <laughs> all strat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Station as you can hear there, we are starting P11, which we are not Why upset oh, I thought with it was because I'm I was quite confident with my race moment. pace um, <laughs> this season so far in PSGL, so, yeah, there's the Q3 order as well, um, so you have an idea of where everyone is, as you can see, I'm just vibing, um, I was in quite a good um, mood as the quality went on, it was, um, yeah, quite a stressful start to the race as well, because I never really managed to get much practice in, because um, I had to switch to a, another PC, because I was having an issue on a, a different one, but that doesn't matter anymore, you have five red lights appearing right now on your screen, getting the revs right as the lights now go out, dropping the clutch, short shifting all the way up to third, a bit of a later up shift to fourth, getting alongside Nicholas Longy on the medium tyres as well, who picks Only really late into the back, the back of John Evans. Right. Um, wasn't really wanting to commit too hard to the outside of Nico, I didn't want to pick up any uh, invalidations. Very easy to pick up penalties around this track, so you want to keep um, you know, keep away from the warnings. Now heading round the outside on the kerb into turn three for the first time, going round the outside of Nicholas Longy, and that is up. <coughs> that is up, that is, uh, is up into P10. Ruben Vallejo ahead, ahead of us, <coughs> and um, going round for the outside. Breaking as late as we can, but we obviously have the medium tar for the start, so the, the grip advantage isn't quite worth us yet. So we just need to bide our time, pushing quite hard at this point. But as we can see here as well, John Evans really slow on the exit, it must have had front wing damage. So we had to take a bit of um, evasive action, thankfully we got away with it. And yeah, that is us up into P9 now, Ruben Vallejo ahead of us now. So two more corners to negotiate with the end of this lap. Ruben Vallejo getting very out of shape as we head round now, the final corner. Jake Benham as well on the mediums behind us, along with Tyron Shooter, um, as well on P11, so 
yeah, it was a bit of a trade at the moment, but, you know, we were confident, we were um, quite happy at, um, to be where we were, because they knew the race had potential to come to us later down the line. Samuel Bean off the road ahead of us, um, and the sister Aston Martin. Um, now, heading down to uh, lap four now, because we skip on a little bit. Throwing a fake to the inside of Ruben Vallejo. Uh, Purple set to one, but Ruben goes deep, so we are now short shifting the next, trying to get some good traction, which we do indeed do. Switching to the outside, then back into the slipstream, up in the inside. DRS at ERS is enabled, breaking as late as we can into turn four, and that should be the move. Nice and sealed, delivered. And yeah, that is uh, up into P8. So. Uh, on to the next one, on to lap 5 now, Samuel Bean ahead of us, clapping the cab, going a bit wide, we open the ERS and DRS and that is us now up to P7, so on a charge on these medium tyres, the grip felt really good um, actually on the medium, so you know, I was really happy with how things were panned out because we certainly seemed um, you know, very much up to scratch on the pace. Um, Red Bull ahead of us getting out of shape, opening the DRS and up the inside, blasting the ERS as always just to secure the move and up to P6 now on lap 7. We have had an excellent start to this race from P11, now up 5 positions. Now Fabrizio Donoso, the Alpine eSports driver ahead of us um, on track. So, cutting on to lap 10, now we are right on the back of um, this sort of train for the leads. So we have Fabrizio Donoso, Yoni Tormala, and I believe Jarno Opme out in the lead. So, this is when their tyres are going to start dropping off and other, they're going to start making pit stops. So, for ideally for us, we want to start, you know, cracking on with it. Throw a fake to the inside of Fabrizio. He never really made the apex, so, yeah. Definitely gaining a bit more grip on him now. Using a lot of ERS, just deploying as much as we can, trying to get up the inside of, of Fabrizio, and that is us up into the podium positions after a few cars made their pit stops as well but nonetheless everything going quite well for us at this stage in the race. Yoni Tomla as well now next up but the next two I believe, ah no no sorry it wasn't Yarno Opme, it was Danny Moreno so I believe on the lap prior to this lap 9 we had some other drivers pitting. I don't know why the screen keeps flashing I'm sorry for that but yeah, here we go, uh, Yoni Tomla and Danny Moreno the last of the soft sort of runners except for Fabrizio Donoso to make a pit stop. So that is us now in the lead of the race, um, which is, you know, simply lovely. Um, and yeah, now we're going to crack on with it. Lap 11 and, well, yeah, we're going to crack on with it. Lap, <laughs> lap 21, Fabrizio made his pit stop after a few more laps. And uh, yeah, we have a 2.6 second gap to Patrick Sipos behind us. So we had a very strong medium stint. Um, I extended even an extra lap um, because I, I didn't really know how the softs were going to hold up. So I wanted to make sure that we had a, a little bit in hand going towards the end. Um, but yeah, that is us into the pit lane. Double checking for the cars behind us. And uh, unfortunately, as we get those soft tyres fitted, we do get held in the pits for quite a substantial amount, which costs us a second or so. I don't know exactly how much it would have cost us, but that is us now released into the race. We're just in P10, I believe, heading out the pit lane, breaking late. Quite on the limit, actually, as we go out of there. EOS enabled, and there we go. Ruben Vallejo, who is on the medium tyres, not really actually challenged as much. But we have Sebastian Job, who pitted on the softs lap before us with the undercut. Really close to us. So that is us now up ahead of Sebastian Job uh, and into P10. So now it's Seven time for seconds. us to crack on. And a good few laps later, as you can see now, lap 27 of 36, we are right in the train for the lead of the race. So, we have certainly been busy making up the time that we didn't have um, after the pit stop, but here we are. Let's challenge for, hopefully, the win in this race. Now, everyone's got a lot older, everyone's on a really, really old mediums by this point, so they'll be struggling quite a lot um, versus my soft. So, we have a, quite a significant grip advantage. So, if we can negotiate our way through these cars quite well, then, you know, we should have a good opportunity into the back of um, the Red Bull because everyone's bunching up so much. Um, looking to the outside, opening the ERS and DRS as usual. Now looking to the inside, quite far back, but slamming onto the brakes, trying to dive deep. Wilson Hughes nearly get rammed by the Red Bull, but we're all right. And there we go, um, up to P7. So, one done. Seven or six to go even, I should say. So we've now got Wilson, who is the fellow Scotsman, ahead of us in the McLaren. Um, everyone ahead of us struggling so much on the grip, which was, you know, really encouraging because it, you know, it felt like something good could happen. So we were just really trying to keep our heads down, keep focused, try not taking any risks that we didn't need to take. And uh, yeah, heading on to lap 
29 as we open the DRS and ERS and get past Wilson Hughes who struggled in the exit of the last corner. Heavy breaking now into turn one. Samuel Bean getting a huge slap of overseer for Bitsy and also also our ship up the inside of Samuel Bean. Turning off the ERS because we thought you know the move's done. But Samuel actually deciding to come back at us. But heavy onto the brakes. Too late. No! And unfortunately, I can confirm you guys can't see it, but that was. Why am I so shit at this game? <laughs> yeah, I was really un I was really unhappy, but we got front wing damage from that, sadly, and that was it. That was front wing damage. Yeah, that was game over. I don't know what else That's to say. Just, uh, um, it's just not happening. I can't believe. It. I broke at 100 meters, which is fine to I make the corner, the but unfortunately. Um, all the cars ahead bunched up and you know sort of stayed to the outside line they never sort of transitioned into the corner so it kind of left me with Samuel on my right you know with how when I broke um, not really much else to go so yeah a massive shame because I know honestly honestly I thought the win was very much on the cards so I'm just not destined <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah big shame but you know that's uh, racing you know I, mean, I broke late what can I say it's my fault I suppose but yeah, well, it was just one of those things, sadly. Um, Unbelievable. We've got to take a bit of blame ourselves for that, unfortunately, as much as it stings. But, yeah, just Wilson Hughes Never now getting back it. past us, I believe, as we now have seven laps left, sadly, with these, um, with these, uh, this, with this damage. So, yeah, um, getting back past Wilson Hughes with the switchback, but, you know, we have a bit of a grip advantage. But, sadly, the understeer was um, quite I'm tremendous. Yeah, I'm pretty speechless at this point, I suppose, as well. Um, behind Wilson Hughes now, who gets back past us. And, uh, yeah, um, sort of the beginning of the end of this race. We, we never give up. We always keep pushing to the last lap, even if it is sort of desperate because of all the things that could happen. But, yeah, really unfortunate. We just, yeah, for some reason or every, another, every time we're in a good position, something goes wrong. Um, and it's, you know, it's... It's all right. It is, it's racing. I mean, you go through phases where you have, you know, good and bad moments. So, you know, what I can be happy with is, you know, we put on some overtakes. We had really good pace and we had a really good race. Um, you know, we put on a good effort, a good drive. So happy with the performance nonetheless. Got to take the positives out of, um, you know, quite a tricky situation, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I'm not trying to ruin anyone else's races as well. Um, on the, their, their own respective alternate strategies so yeah what a shame but yeah and here you go Patrick Sipos going up the inside on the hard tyres um, so yeah um, that's really it now we've got Lewis Welch who thought about going up our inside into turn 9 um, but he'll get us on the next corner anyway no doubt with our understeer so yeah that's really it for the race there's no one else behind us to Catch and pass us, so um, yeah, it's sadly going to be. I don't believe a points finish. Um, I'm actually gutted, man. But yeah, I know it's even. I mean, it's not esports, but we were so close to winning that we had so much more pace. Yeah, it was very much, very much disappointing. But you know, actually, no, I'll, I, I tell a lie. I'm sorry. P10 in the end, but yeah, for Bitsu Donoso is your winner uh, of this race. And yeah, um, that's just the way it goes. So, um, you know, a bit of a shame, but, you know, you've just got to, um, yeah, you've got to roll with it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the race. It was actually a lot of fun to drive, so definitely not disappointed in any way with it. So, um, yeah. Um, well, in any way, that's a lie. But, like, obviously, I would have liked to have, you know, tried to fight for the win as the pace was good uh, with those soft tyres. But, you know... You win some, you lose some, but, you know, on to the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and, um, yeah, I hope you're all keeping well, staying safe, positive, happy, and, uh, yeah, I hope to see you in a future video, um, probably next time for PSGL. So, um, yeah, take care, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Goodbye. Take care. Arrivederci. Meep, meep. Meep, meep.